make it go haywire. For nearly seven years, Shane Crotty, a professor with the Vaccine Discovery Division at the La Jolla Institute of Immunology, has been studying strep throat. The painful infection in the back of the mouth causes white or red spots along with a fever. It's treated with antibiotics. And recurrent tonsillitis or recurrent strep throat um, is... Uh, been a sort of a long-standing medical mystery. So why do some kids keep getting these infections? It's a question Crotty and his team can now answer. He says many people develop a protective immunity to the strep bacteria after an infection, but not everybody shares that same protective antibody response. He says there's also a genetic component. Recurrent strep throat likely runs in the family. The key finding here is that we've got evidence that Recurrent tonsillitis or recurrent strep throat is uh, is a genetic susceptibility disease, um, and it's tied to the bacteria actually targeting the immune system. Susceptible children often have their tonsils removed after about a dozen cases to help prevent further infections. The lymph node-like structures on each side of the back of the throat are a breeding ground for strep bacteria. They played a valuable role in the research. So we developed a test to be able to measure strep-specific responses within the tonsil. Jennifer Dan is an infectious disease physician and clinical associate with the Institute. She has studied tonsil samples of hundreds of children in San Diego. She says the bacteria that causes strep throat can lead to serious complications if it's not treated, including rheumatic heart disease. Rheumatic heart disease is a big problem in third world countries. It's one of the early one of the um, primary causes of early heart failure in young adults. Um, so it's something that the World Health Organization is trying to eliminate. Dan and Crotty say their study could help make eliminating strep throat and rheumatic heart disease possible. The way the bacteria are targeting the immune system um, provides an idea for a vaccine uh, where you can block that activity of the bacteria. And so if, if you can block that activity with a vaccine, it might actually be able to stop strep throat in general. Their study, released today, is published in the Science Translational Medicine Journal. Susan Murphy, KPBS News.